Hi folks, welcome back to The Pulse, I'm Marcel. Today we're gonna to talk about NMN and health and how it can make you feel healthier. We have a poll where I polled uh, viewers and asked them questions to see how many, what percentage of people are benefiting from taking NMN, so there's some interesting results there. I'm gonna announce the winners of the Fizitin, Fizitin uh, giveaway, the new giveaway that we just had last Friday, so we've already got a couple winners. But first, I wanted to talk about our friend, Dr. Brad Stanfield. Now, when I first started my NMN journey, or my journey to collect information, Brad's channel was one of the first ones that I started watching. Um, didn't watch every video, still don't watch every video, but he was very informative and still is very informative on the topic. So the one thing with Brad is he does tend to change his mind um, with the data, with the science. So it's great, Brad, that you're watching the science, but it does seem like you have some about faces from time to time. Um, when I first started watching Brad, he wasn't yet taking NMN, but he talked about taking it later when he could afford it. I can't afford NMN, so I've still got a massive medical school student loan. One day when I can eventually afford NMN, I'll be taking NMN at one gram every day, and on multiple occasions, he said the same thing. And I've still got a lot of medical school student loan to pay off. So for me right now, I can't afford the NMN. So around the time I started taking NMN, which is end of 2020, guess what? Brad started taking NMN. I take NMN. And he even detailed how he was taking it in powder form. I've chosen to take powder and I take that powder underneath my tongue to hopefully bypass the liver. So we were starting this great journey together. However, after a couple months of NMN, I <laughs> bought the wrong brand on Amazon and it ended up even being featured or discussed in one of Brad's videos around that time that I wish I would have seen, I didn't catch that one, that NMN Max, the one I was taking, actually didn't contain any NMN. But about a year ago, I switched to Do Not Age, also partly because of Brad's video channel. So I started taking real NMN again, started having great results, and made a big video, which has now over 250,000 views, and the rest is history. But Brad also made a video right around that same time, about a year ago, and it stunned a lot of people and also got over 200,000 views. So this is a massive change to my supplement stack. I'm going to stop taking NMN. So now Brad has stopped taking NMN. And you know, Brad is about 30 years younger than me. So I never really quite understood why he felt the need to take NMN. I always said it was for people 40, 50 years and older who were beginning to feel the effects of aging and starting to slow down. Now maybe for disease recovery, there can be benefits for NMN that we're just learning about. And there certainly doesn't appear to be any downsides or any health safety issues. So if you are lacking energy, it's worth trying, at least in a lower dosage. You probably don't need the 1.5 milligram that I'm taking every day, but maybe it's worth taking or trying when you are younger. I mean, I'm open-minded to this, but for Brad to completely stop taking it was quite a shock. And this sent reverberations around our anti-aging community and influenced comments that people made. I think it did feed into some of the negativity that came out when I'm sitting here saying, gosh, I'm feeling great. But if you look at the reason that Dr. Brad was taking NMN, it had more to do, or it had to do with the science. So when the science would contradict itself from time to time, this study focuses on this thing, this study focuses on that thing, maybe he became a bit confused and started to blow with the winds a little bit. I've always stayed the course with NMN because I've always gotten results once I was taking pure NMN. I never wavered from it because the effects never wavered. The two times I stopped for five days when I ran out, my energy started to diminish. So of course I wanted to start taking it again and I've never stopped and I've never really looked back. In fact, I've increased the dosage, especially particularly at times when I did start to feel like I was about to get sick. That's why a couple days ago, Brad posted this video and it really stunned me once again. 
I take niacin because it's been used in clinical medicine for decades to lower cholesterol. I also take it with another molecule called TMG. But when I get sick or if I'm going through a particularly stressful time in life and I'm not sleeping that much, then I'll add in either NMN or NR to go up to that 1000 milligram dose. So now Dr. Brad is taking NMN or NR but only when he's feeling under the weather or not sleeping very well. The things that it's been helping me with for the past year, obviously Dr. Brad is also getting helped with even at his much younger age. So it lends a lot of credence to those of you out here, and there's a lot of you out here. Uh, Angelina Royal, I just posted a video about her, and she had so many illness symptoms. Uh, she had COVID, and then she had depression, and she had insomnia. And when she started taking NMN, all of that cleared up and she even lost 12 pounds. Yes, she's a real person. She happens to be an attractive person, but I seeked her out and I'm seeking other people out to post their NMN stories as well because it is very important that we all share our stories with each other to compare notes. To that end, also over this weekend, it was a busy weekend, um, also over this weekend, I posted a poll and I was interested to find out, get a better idea of those of you in my community, in our community here, how many of you have taken NMN and how many of you are experiencing benefits? I've always estimated that the people getting benefits was around 80%. And lo and behold, when you remove from the poll the people not taking NMN, the number is 78%. So of people taking NMN in our community, 78% have had significant or slight results, most of those being significant, about two thirds of those being significant. The ones not getting results, I still believe most of you, or at least half of you, we can address that by living healthier, taking TMG, maybe something like resveratrol or quercetin, maybe doing a physotin flush once a month. These things may boost that, get you going, and get that NMN working better for you. Also, do the healthy stuff. I've said it many, many, many times. If you're not getting any benefits or just slight benefits, make sure you're doing the healthy stuff eat those leafy vegetables, do some calorie restriction, also exercise, very important to your NAD levels. So there are other things you could do to stack your odds of success. I know that some people still claim they're not doing them. And to that end, to everybody, I think it's important to, to get some tests done and to get to the bottom of it. So I've consulted with an online home testing company. Before I give the name, I want to disclose that they've agreed to pay this channel for each sale that comes their way, a portion of that sale, and to give you 25% off. So it's a pretty significant discount. So you're going to be helping the channel. And before I agreed to anything, I went out and read customer reviews and their customer review rating averages four and a half out of five stars. The only people not happy with the company were ones that had problems uh, extracting blood with the finger pricker. Can, can we say that on YouTube? <laughs> with the poker that you use. It's the same one I used for the NAD test. I had a little struggle with it too, but I got it to work. Um, I ended up poking myself a couple times, but just something to keep in mind if you're, if you're a, a difficult bleeder, uh, you may want to keep that in mind for the home test. And that company is Let's Get Checked. So you can go to Let's Get Checked through the link in my description, or you can go directly there, but you'll want to enter the Pulse 25. If you use my link, it'll automatically populate for you, and it's a little bit easier. What are we getting tested there? Well, they test vitamin deficiencies. They test testosterone. They do tests that are specific to women. They do tests that are specific to men. They do wellness tests. They do COVID tests. So you can pick and choose your tests, or they have packages of tests, and those bundles you also save 25% if you use Pulse25, that code. So this is a step in the right direction. It's not going to be the answer to all of your questions, but it's another piece of the puzzle that we need to get into place. I'm starting with the male hormone advanced test, which includes testosterone, because there's a number of things there. And viewers, again, it all comes back to viewer comments. Viewers have asked me, have you had your testosterone tested? So people are curious to see how much NAD is boosting testosterone, which it's been shown in human trials to do. So I'd like to know 
what my testosterone is. I feel like it's probably pretty healthy. It's pretty good, but I'd like to know for sure. And then check it from time to time, which you can do too. So the next order of business today is to give away some Fizetin. I'm still going to call it Fizetin. Sorry, Dr. Kirkland. The winners this week are Auto. Uh, there you are. We talked about you again, Auto. This time you're a winner. And Ron Timothy. Now, Ron complained of arthritis and is looking for some supplements to help with his arthritis pain. Doing a Fizetin flush can help you with joint pain. Other people have reported knee pain improving from doing the flush. Another supplement you could consider is hyaluronic acid. Now, the supplements that I take are from Do Not Age. Again, link in the description and a coupon code for that, the Pulse. Hyaluronic acid was discovered in naked mole rats in high concentration. These are rats that live 20 years as opposed to a couple of years, as most in the rodent family do. By Vera Gorbanova, she leads the science team, the advisory board of Do Not Age. So you're really going to a tested, uh, pure source of hyaluronic acid when you get their hyaluronic acid. It helps with joint pain. I haven't had any tennis pain, shoulder pain, elbow pain since I started taking that at all. So maybe that is another piece of the puzzle for some of you as well. The last thing I wanna address is sharing is caring. Please tell people about the channel. Um, we're closing in on 10,000 subscribers. I think we're gonna probably hit that number sometime in September, gonna hit 9,000 this week. Uh, I thank you guys so much, but we're reaching so many people and help me to reach more, reach those 10,000 people. And I'm talking mostly to the guys that have been coming back over and over. Tell people about this because yes, sharing is caring, helps the channel grow, and you really don't know who you're helping when you share that link. And it happened to me because I started posting certain videos on my own personal Facebook page. And then months later, my friends would like message me, hey, I'm doing great on NMN. And I never even knew that they took it. They watched a video, they ordered the NMN, and like two, three months later, they're telling me how great they're doing. This happened like a dozen times. So you don't know who you're helping when you share those videos. So we're just sharing. I'm passing on information that I collect from others and sort of collecting it here and disseminating to you. You can be a part of that process by sharing it with your friends and, and relatives and people that you know as well. Also keep in mind, when you comment, which I want you to do, the ratio of lurkers to commenters is typically online about 20 to 1. So if we got a video with 50 comments, there's probably a thousand people scanning through those comments. And when you make a comment, keep that in mind. Uh, most people are very civil, even if they're skeptical. I invite that. As people know, I'll I'm as quick to respond to someone who's skeptical as someone who's positive because that's what having a community dialogue is all about. When you escalate that, and you resort to name calling, when it's mean-spirited, there's really no place for it here. It is a turnoff for the people that come and check the comments frequently. So do keep that in mind and be civil with your comments, but comment, comment. And in fact, like this video, all of it helps the channel. I thank you for watching. See you real soon. Marcel out.